UPS because this is this is crazy the amount of money that these drivers are supposedly going to earn after this uh, this deal. Why don't you tell us about this, Mike? So, so the UPS labor settlement is not as not as crazy as everybody touted, right? So it's like you you saw these headlines: one hundred and seventy thousand dollars a year for a UPS driver, and it's like. No, no, no. Those are long haul over the road truckers that spend three weeks a month in the back of a cab truck driving coast to coast. You know, so if you want to if you want to sacrifice your nights, your your families for uh, 12 weeks of the year being home and you can go to UPS, start out and make a good salary at one hundred and seventy thousand a year, you know, three thirty five starting the salary. No, no, no. That's the that's their average over the long haul trucker. Starting is okay. going to come in around a hundred, but still, you know, you're there for ten years. You're going to be at 170, but you're also losing right. nights, weekends, you know, days. So the Teamsters are just emphatic about this win, and really, they got an agree to where if you're a part time worker, you're going to get. Two dollars and seventy-five cents raise by the uh, per hour by the end of the year. And if MLK you're... Day, they got MLK Day off as part of the agreement. Yeah, they like, didn't get MLK Day off before. <laughs> it's UPS. These people are federal going, holiday. They're delivering every day, right? So okay. Amazon doesn't give any holidays. Right. Wow. Okay. So you, everyone at UPS gets MLK Day off now. Yeah, so it's like there's a lot of different things there that, and I doubt everybody will get it off. Let's be clear on that. No, right? no, no. You know, a portion of them will get it off, but UPS does pay significantly more than most companies. The average person at UPS makes seventy nine thousand dollars a year. That's, that's really a lot good. of money. Yeah, right. So that's interesting to really think about, and that's according to pay scale. But according to UPS, their average long haul truckers make one hundred seventy two thousand dollars a year for driving. And so that's that's really interesting. But more interesting is a seven dollar and fifty cent per hour raise on their full time workers. That's what was agreed to in this union deal with the Teamsters. So really, wow. it, it's, it's, it's a, a big, big raise. Deal. Seven dollars yeah. per hour raise. Wow. Yeah. By, by the end of 23, I mean, we've only got five months left. So it's really, it's really interesting to see that they were able to pull that together. Obviously, UPS was confident enough in their revenues to say we'll be able to do this. Um, you know, so it, it, it's pretty interesting to know that it's still viable and that it can come through. But a lot of it has to do with benefits too. It's just not like all 70, 172 K in cash. It's benefits, 401 Ks. You know, they might walk home with a hundred grand at the end of the year. And then they have health benefits, all this other stuff that kind of accumulates into that total. So when you look at it, you go, wow, they're making four grand a year or four grand a week. Not really. You know, they're probably pocketing two grand a week. Okay. That's still $8,000 know? a month. I mean, it's pretty good. I mean, it's good money, but it's not, uh, you know, it's good living wage. You can support yeah. a support a four person family on eight grand a month, whether or not you can buy a house with that and support a family and save money for the 20 percent down payment. That's another story. I think you could buy a house, especially with an FHA loan or a VA loan or a USDA loan. Now you're assuming the three percent of VA people all work at UPS. I mean, there, there's not really. FHA, VA, or USDA. All those allow you to put either no down payment or a 3.5% down payment. Yeah, the FHA is the most most, most common. common. Yeah. But it's also, for a seller, it's a, it's a nightmare because you're running into having to fix yeah. all these small things on your home to get the deal to go through. And it's hard. To, I found out it's, it's hard to buy a house with an FHA loan. I, I had one and uh, the seller refused to sell it to me. And said, you got to get a conventional loan within 24 hours or I'm selling it to someone else. And that's the market right now is uh, if you're yeah. coming with, you know, people will literally say no FHA, no USDA, no VA, you know, uh, cash yeah. and conventional only. And it's, it's Di their right to dictate how it's I think it. I think it depends on the market. I mean, if you live in an area like where I live, where we, we're in the countryside just outside New York City, where everyone wants to move to because they're sick of the city. 
um, the market's very competitive. So yeah, but if you live somewhere else where it's not so competitive, maybe you could get away with it. Yeah, Mississippi or Alabama or Louisiana, maybe. Right. But where those, those worst states to look at that we we to live in that we talked about last week. Yeah, right. That's <laughs> what Mississippi. I mean. <laughs> but if you're in if you're coming to Florida, you better be coming with cash. Otherwise, right. you're, you're good luck unless you're in the panhandle, which I would call part of an extension of Mississippi and Alabama. Uh, otherwise, you need you need cash to live in Florida to buy a place. You know, uh, I want to say 30 percent of the homes purchased in Collier and Lee County, Florida, were cash buys last year. That's wow. crazy. one out of three houses. So wow. it, it's really, you know, eight grand looks great feels great truth is is that the inflation numbers have killed a lot of things in our country right and and i think this is why they're able to negotiate this as well isn't it is because of inflation that they the guys need this big raise right yeah uh, i mean they have to otherwise how are they going to all afford to to keep living and doing things especially there's thirty four thousand employees you know that's a lot of people so it's uh, how do you keep all of that going?